Are you a comic lover in search of a reliable tablet for reading comics? Digital comics have been getting a lot of traction off late, but there aren't many dependable devices in the market. Hence, finding a suitable comic reading device can be a tedious task. That's why I decided to step in and help you out. So in this video we will discuss 5 best tablets for reading comics. Don't worry, you will not face any hassle to find the product links. I will include the product links in the description. Number 1. Amazon Fire HD 10. The first recommendation on our list of the best tablets for reading comics is Amazon Fire HD 10 with an octa-core 2.0 GHz processor and 3 GB of RAM, it is certainly better equipped than its predecessor, although the speed can use some work. Switching from apps or going to the home screen takes longer than absolutely necessary. With its additional 1 GB RAM than the previous model, it is speedier but still not enough to be really smooth. Gaming is also full of lags and visible stutters that ruins the entire experience. Although if you want it for only reading comics it will suit it you should expect some lag while changing comics or flipping pages. It is a pretty simple build with a matte plastic shell as the back cover and a screen on the front that gives a good grip while reading comics, for its price, it comes with a pretty bright and colorful display that is very pleasing to the eyes. It really accentuates every single detail of your comic and the full HD display of 1920x1200 pixel, with an excellent screen build, brings clarity to the comics and doesn't blur out spaces. It comes with two storage options, 32GB and 64GB and you can easily choose one that suits your comic book reading requirements. You can spend $40 more to double the storage. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 This Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 has a minimalist look and probably in the best way possible. The tablet has extremely thin bezels that make it an extremely large screen to read on. The aluminum shell is sturdy and gives you a strong feel. With a weight of 1.1 pounds and dimensions of 9.8 by 6.2 by 0.3 inches. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 662 SM6115, processor and 3 gigabits RAM look like a big deal but its performance is limited to just daily usage and even then you can start noticing the lags. Opening multiple tabs while watching videos will definitely slow down its performance. The processor is fairly modest and wouldn't sustain high-level usage. While reading comics you will not notice much difference but if you keep several tabs open, there is some lag to be expected. The display is decent with not an extremely bright display and the colors don't pop out. The reason for it is the 224 pixels per inch density that does not give it many colors incentive to give a colorful view. So you should expect some difference in the actual colors and the colors shown to you while reading comics. It has initial storage of just 32 gigabytes that can be expanded to 64 gigabytes by paying $50 extra, which is less than what you get from other tablets. Even though comics tend to be in the lower end of file size it is best to avail tablets that give you a good amount of storage. Number 3. Memory M7 Tablet. With the Android 10.0 operating system, you are getting yourself the latest system that is susceptible to change and upgrade, so you won't be compromising on that. Besides that, you get an octa-core processor that claims to run several programs and apps simultaneously though there is a limit of just 3 or 4 after which you would start noticing visible stutters and lags. As for the best tablet for reading comics, it is a viable option for those who only want it for one purpose and do not require it for any heavy performance. The Merberry M7 is a pretty cheap tablet and is suited for ones who are looking for a budget tablet model. It has a metal chassis build and is pretty sturdy with no defects whatsoever. All its parts are pretty firm and do not deviate from their places and nor does the SD card shift around in its slot. The display is beautiful with a large and sturdy screen that reflects major colors. It is pretty efficient in getting across the purpose of reading comics and mangas and with a 10.1 inch FHD display with a screen resolution of 1280x800 pixels it certainly does its job. It comes with 4GB operating memory and 64GB of storage memory. 
it can be further extended to 128 gigabytes by paying money. Again this is a fairly fine capacity that you can use to store your comics. Number 4. Lenovo Smart Tab M10. Lenovo has probably come with the best looking tablet with thin bezels and a slender frame. It is extremely light and small and gives an elite look, certainly a bonus for a budgeted model. Given its structure, it is extremely easy to hold and read and does not overwhelm you with its size. In fact, the size of 9.5 by 5.8 by 0.3 inches implies that you can focus on any part of the comics without having to zoom in. Performance-wise this tablet falls a little bit. If you keep several tabs of your comic open it will start showing visible in switching and opening in new ones. Cheaper tablets than this Lenovo tablet gave better performance. Though the lag won't ruin your experience when you are paying this much for a tablet you would expect better performance. The display is highly satisfactory and given its price you are getting yourself quite a deal. The details can get a little lost but the colors are clearly visible and vivid. The touch is as smooth as butter and gives your fingers a gliding feeling. While flipping through pages of your comics you would get a very smooth experience. The budgeted piece comes with just 32GB of eMMC flash storage which isn't much when it comes to storing comics. You can upgrade to the 64GB storage but it will cost you more. Number 5. Amazon Fire 7 Tablet. I still think of the Kindle Fire as a Kindle reader that does other things, which is probably not what Amazon wants me to think. Kindles use the Fire OS, which is a version of the Android operating system. If you decide to stay within the Kindle ecosystem, keep in mind that Amazon has a trade-in program for your old devices that got me $30 off the last time I had to replace my Kindle, plus I didn't have to add another device to the box of outdated electronics and miscellaneous cords in my home. The best-selling Fire model is the 7 tablet which is on sale for $59.99 and offers 10 hours of reading time before needing to be recharged. I recently purchased a Fire Kids tablet and it is pretty easy to use but I am a committed Apple user so there were some growing pains and grumbling as I figured out how to make the Disney app show up in the children's section. If you enjoyed this video, then like this video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.